Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today I have a really cool robot to show you because it takes some of the future here with robots and it kind of links us to the past. Today I have the Zoetrope robot. If you don't know what a Zoetrope was, it's a um, basically a cylinder that has a lot of different uh, sequential pictures, almost like a flip book. And, but it's, it spins and it allows you to see pre-animation. So, you know, if you've seen a cartoon before, this was way before cartoons. In fact, it was invented in the early 1800s by William George Horner. And what he allowed us to do is basically, as it spins, allows us to see moving pictures become kind of like a comic strip or a cartoon. So it's really cool today. You can't miss this. So today what I'm going to do is take that invention and put it with our EV3 robot and let you see what happens when the past meets the future in today's Zoetrope. And I will also show you how to make it. Check out the description with several links to videos and some of the materials and resources that I use to make this video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do for my Zoetrope, I like saying that, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the basic outline of this, and I'm going to be stenciling it onto this black paper, and then I'm going to cut that out. Um, I could have printed this out in black, but I'm like, wow, that's a lot of ink. So instead of that, I'm just going to use this black paper. Okay, so I cut out the outside part here, so I'm just going to now stencil it onto the black and cut that part out. Okay, so now that I have these two pieces cut out, I am now just going to tape it together in the middle here so that these two now can just be one long uh, section here. And then I'll turn this thing around. Let's just tape it on the other side too, just to make it extra secure. And then what we'll do is we'll just make it into a circle and tape that part. Okay, so there we go. Have it pretty cylindrical looking right here. So we're all set now. Now we're just ready to fit this onto a circular object here and then get the other strips that have the pictures on it on the inside. Okay everybody, so I have the Zoetrope ready. Now all I have to do is cut. I'm going to do this one here first. I'll maybe save this for another one, but I'm going to do this, cut this out, and then we'll tape this together. Okay, so everybody, I cut out the strips of the horses. And I taped this together, and now I'm going to just go ahead and tape this inside of the outer part here. Okay, so now that I have my Zoetrope ready, I'm going to be placing it on a CD. Now, some people, they'll use like a, you know, cylindrical can. You can do that too, but, you know, if you are lacking resources and you have an extra CD lying around that you don't mind using for this project, uh, what I'm going to do is, it's a little uh, in diameter, it's a little smaller than the CD. So I'm just going to end up taping this down to the CD. Okay, so I just uh, taped the Zoetrope to the CD here. And let me go ahead now and bring in the Zoetrope EV3 robot here. So I need some type of turntable here, so I just use this large motor. Just built some makeshift uh, platform. So what was really, um, I don't know, it didn't take me that long to figure it out. I needed something flat to keep this CD on. So I used um, this gear right here. Actually, it's a wheel. And so what I'm going to do is sandwich the CD in between these two wheels. And the rubber actually does a pretty good job of keeping it into place. So let me go ahead and show you how that's going to work. So I'm just going to take the CD here and place it. Let me move this up here. So I'm going to put that right on top of that. And then I'll just sandwich it in between with this one. 
Okay, so let me just give you an inside look there. So that's how I did that. Um, so this CD is sandwiched in between two of those wheels. I use the rubber just to keep it more secure. So that way this thing doesn't end up flying off. And let me go ahead and show you what this Zoetrope looks like. Let me get the perfect angle here. Um, actually, I might have to come a little lower. You're supposed to see it through the slits right here. Right into there. And you got your own little picture show here. You see how it looks like the horse is galloping? I might have cut the slits a little too wide. I think, you know, if, if I do another one, I'm going to cut the slits a little smaller. Uh, but it still looks like the horse is galloping, yeah? So not too bad, everybody. Here is our Zoe trope. Okay guys, a tip that I learned from the first one is it's probably smarter to tape the strip down before you make it into a cylinder. It was just really kind of tough getting it inside of that. Let me show you what, what I mean. It was tough getting the um, animated strip inside of there once the cylinder has been made. So on this one here, I'm going to be taping this down before I make this into a cylinder. I think it's just going to make it a lot easier um, once I have it made into a cylinder. Now I won't have to worry about getting this uh, taped inside of it. That was kind of a hassle. So let's see if this one's better. Okay, so I have um, the double-sided tape on here. And, oh yeah, I think this is going to be so much better. And I know there's... Um, there's a little bit of space at the end of each of these black sections. So I'll try to center this as best I can. So that way when I make this into a cylinder. And you know, this has to be on the inside. So I'm going to be circling it in like that. So I just want to make sure that I have some room over here on this end. And I have some room over in there. So let me go ahead and make this into a cylinder now. Okay, so the answer is yes. It was so much easier to have this strip taped down to the black part before you make it into a cylinder. So much easier. So I got another CD here, and I'm just now going to tape this onto there, and we'll let you see what this one looks like. What's so cool about this, guys, is it's like a, it's like a CD where you can just replace one and take out the other one. So... Okay, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Hey, they're dancing. Let me see what happens when we slow this down. Okay, so for this one here, I know lighting is super important, so I opened up this window. I tried to slow this program down um, a bit here. So... The one thing interesting about this one here is the movement is a lot less dramatic than the horses, so it's really hard to pick this up, but you can see the dancing couple here spinning and twirling, but the movement's not that different between each frame, so it's really hard to kind of pick that up. I thought the uh, horse, the guy on the horse or the person on the horse was a lot more clear to pick up, but this one's pretty good too. Okay, guys, because we love robots, let's take a look at a robotic zoetrope here. So we have a walking robot here. I actually had to, um, this one actually was a lot bigger in diameter than the other zoetropes. So I had to use the KFC bucket instead of the CD. So this one here is just going to have a lot of pictures of the robot walking. So I'm not sure exactly how this is going to turn out, but I hope good.
we get to take a look at the one I showed you before where the woman is being charged at by a bull and it looks like she is doing a flip over the bull. So this ought to be cool. Let's take a look at this one. Okay guys, so there you have it. I love it again when you can take an idea and turn it into something that's very tangible, very real with our EV3 robot or any you know Lego robot. So today hopefully was a very cool robot to have you just see how the Zoe Trope worked. Hopefully you can check out the links in the description to see you know if you can make one yourself. Um, if you don't have an EV3 robot at home, you can definitely use like a pencil to maybe attach to the cylinder where you can maybe spin it with your hand. Hopefully you can be resourceful and figure that out because it's a really cool invention. So thank you, William George Horner, for this excellent invention, the Zoetrope. Hopefully you guys liked it. And I'll see you in my next video. I am Mr. Hino from Seals Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.